been on the Syracuse University campus, you've heard the chimes of the Krauss College bell tower. Now, it's not a recording. Those are students. A secret society called the Chime Masters runs those bells. And we can't speak to any of them because their identities are a mystery, but we can talk to their faculty advisor, Joe Downing, and he's going to give us a tour today. The students who are picked to do this are all picked by other students. Yeah, they run themselves. Okay. And it didn't used to be a secret society, but now it sort of is. Yeah, now they're, they're, sort of they're one kind of, of secretive, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why did that start? Why? I think because it's <laughs> <For> fun. fun. <laughs> And here we are. So it's most of history. these writings on the so walls. So all the writing misses over the years. The, the fun thing now, for me, 03. 1903 or 2003. Right. Can we see that? Can we yeah, see that? yeah, we'll go right up and see all that. All right. yeah. It's fun. Daunting. Don't, Don't look down. <laughs> Why would I look down? That was foolish. Has anyone ever like slipped down that ladder or? I hope not. <laughs> not that you know of. <laughs> not that I know of. It was finished in 1890. I think the cornerstone says 1889. Mm -hmm. And it says Krauss College for women, although it's never been exclusively for women. It was just kind of assumed in the 1890s that women would study music and art. Right. And that's what this building was for. A uh, little puppet right here. This is a Quasimodo, of course. You've got Quasimodo. Do I have to play anything? Can I can you play, play something right I'm now? Not sure, what do you want me to play? Yeah. 